As the castles at the wall are severely undermanned, John asks Tormund and the wildlings north to man them, to which Tormund agrees. Tormund is sent to Eastwatch by the sea, as this is the castle closest to Hardhome where the Night King was last seen and, thus, a potential target. Before leaving, Tormund jokes that he and his free folk are the Night's Watch now. He later flirts with Brienne, and remarks Podrick Payne is a lucky man, as Brienne knocks him to the ground. A while later, Tormund is visited at Eastwatch by Jon, along with Gendry and Jorah Mormont, who have journeyed north to capture a white to bring before queens Cersei Lannister and Daenerys Targaryen to convince them both of the common threat of the Night King. Tormund quips that they are not the only ones and takes them to the ice cells, where he is holding Beric Dondarrion, Thoros of Myr, and Sandor Clegane. During the ensuing exchange, Tormund learns Jorah's real name and deduces he is the son of Jor Mormont, who hunted the wildlings, like animals, though Jorah retorts that the wildlings did the same to the Night's Watch. Hostilities are quickly put aside when they all accept they are on the same side and Jon frees the Brotherhood. Tormund joins Jon's expedition north to capture a white. During the expedition, Tormund exchanges banter with Gendry and Jon Snow. When Jon explains that Daenerys will only ally with them if he submits to her rule, Tormund remarks that Jon has grown prideful and independent as a result of his time spent with the Free Folk. However, Tormund remarks that standing on pride can be a dangerous thing, using his late friend and leader Mance Raider as an example. He later banters with Sandor Clegane, the latter shooting down the idea of Tormund winning Brienne's heart. As they get closer to a pack of whites, they are attacked by an undead polar bear which mortally wounds Thoros but which is killed by Jorah. Later, they ambush a pack of whites led by a white walker, and as soon as Jon slays the walker, all but one of the whites fall lifeless. As the white screams for help and Jon instructs Gendry to return to Eastwatch and send a raven to Daenerys, Tormund implores him to leave his warhammer behind as it will slow him down. The party ends up stranded in the middle of a frozen lake where Thoros eventually dies of his wounds. When the lake freezes over again, a fierce melee ensues. Tormund destroys many whites with a dragon glass battle axe, but he is eventually tackled by two whites, who almost drag him underwater. He is saved at the last minute by Sandor. Daenerys eventually arrives and saves them with her dragons, though Viserion is killed by the Night King in the process, and they make it back to Eastwatch. Tormund helps them load the white into a boat, and shares a farewell nod with Sandor in gratitude for saving his life. Some time later, Tormund and Beric are manning Eastwatch's defenses when the Army of the Dead arrives, led by the Night King astride a newly reanimated Viserion. When Tormund sees the dragon bearing down on them, he screams for everyone to run. Tormund watches as Viserion burns right through the wall, causing Eastwatch to collapse. Tormund manages to escape the direct onslaught dragon fire and watches as both wildlings and watchers are killed by the downfall of ice. 